spawn the uh, Archeo Eleven Raven. Go into the uh, menu, empty Archeo Eleven, and then for unit, it's uh, the only selection there. Hit OK, and there you go. Alright, so there you have the backpack on the ground there. Pick it up or uh, assemble it. If you pick it up, you'll see it's on your back. You can transport it around. To drop it, go into your gear menu, click on it, and press drop. Once it's on the ground, you can uh, go up to it with the scroll menu and select assemble. And it'll put itself together. Alright, so there you can see it's assembled. You can check your battery level there in the bottom left hand corner. Or a strobe test. Strobe test is useful for locating it uh, if it drops in tall grass or somewhere where it's hard to find. Using the scroll wheel again, press launch. And there it goes. As you can see it's very quiet, it's uh, circling the enemy, unless they look up there's very little chance that they're actually going to see it. Flight seems a little glitchy, but uh, either way it works out pretty good as a recon tool. So if you go down to GCS and new target, the, uh, that's the altitude there, 30 meters, and that's the RQ-11 itself. Alright, so as you scroll out, you'll notice a uh, black ring here. That is the farthest the RQ-11 can fly. I've heard it's an approximate 8 kilometer radius, but uh, I'm too lazy to check it out myself. Whether it's the range of the uh, control unit or the battery life of the Raven, either way, that's the farthest you can fly. So if you zoom in, click on the map where you want to fly, you'll notice the grid up there of the uh, area you selected, and the Raven will automatically fly to that location. So X and C controls your zoom. X zooms in, C zooms out. That's the maximum zoom right there. And the minimum zoom right there. S and W controls your altitude, W higher, S lower, maximum altitude is 150 meters, minimum is 30 meters, and 30 meters is the uh, default, even when it was flying at 30 meters uh, around us earlier, you still couldn't even hear it, so it's pretty quiet. Alright, so here I'm going to speed it up so it can uh, get to the location faster. Alright, so here we're almost to the village I selected uh, on the map for the aircraft to fly to. You can see even at this uh, far distance, if I zoom in, we get fairly close and uh, see what's going on. A and D increases and decreases your target radius, basically uh, increasing the distance from the point I selected on the map. A decreases and uh, D increases the range. So to change your uh, view from daylight television, night vision, white hot and black hot, use uh, default is N on the keyboard. 
so that was night vision there, it's daytime so it was pretty crappy. This is uh, FLIR, forward looking infrared, white hot. And this is black hot. And back to daylight television. So the camera is fixed on the location that you choose on the map. So if you want to move the camera to another location, you'll have to select a new spot on the map. Just again, simply click on the map. You have the new grid reference there. Press escape. Back to camera. And there you go. And the picture may not be uh, HD quality, but uh, it's definitely you can get really close and determine if units on the ground are armed or civilians. Alright, so now I will uh, select new target, bring it back in toward me. And I'm going to speed it up so it will take a fairly long time to get to me. Alright, so you can see it's approaching my location. Just a useless error message. You know that error message was not uh, anything to do with the Raven. It was actually the Canadian Forces mod I'm currently running. Just uh, a few bugs currently uh, in the system. Alright, so to land the Raven, select Auto Land. And you notice it uh, turns in and flies to, I've heard it's within 14 meters and lands. Now uh, it'll beep, making it easier to uh, locate it uh, if it drops in tall grass or somewhere where it's hard to find. You can see battery level is 82.75%. Uh, you can recharge the battery right there. Notice it says charging in the corner, and it will not tell you the current battery percent. If you pick up the Raven, however, it will give you a real time update on the battery uh, life percentage. I'm going to speed it up here, let it charge a bit faster. If you drop the Raven again, uh, it will not give you a real time update. Launch it again.
to once it's on the ground, you can uh, reset the strobe, disassemble it, and it'll uh, fold itself back up and put itself into the backpack. Alright, there you go. Now you can take it and uh, transport it wherever you have to go again. Again, you can take the backpack and transport it. Click on it, press drop. Once it's on the ground, you can assemble the Raven. There it goes. So as you can see at night time the camera barely sees anything. It's not uh, extremely useful. You press N, switch to uh, night vision. And if you press N again, it'll switch to uh, forward-looking infrared, white hot. Press it again, switch to flur, black hot. And again, back to extremely dark daylight television. Keyword daylight, not exactly that great uh, at night time. Alright, so if you command it to auto land, it'll come in somewhere. There it is. Now one thing at night you'll notice that you didn't at daytime is the strobe. When it lands it'll both beep and uh, let off the strobe. Easier to find it. And there you go, it's back in the backpack.